IDA is responsible for attracting foreign direct investment. IDA would see the IMI programme really helping to cement that because it helps to cultivate really strong leadership teams. What we've noticed is a lot of the companies are at different stages of their own maturity. What they need is a more sophisticated blueprint for what they do in Ireland to develop their relationships with their key stakeholders, to bring the leadership team together and to find their own vision. We had a large merger announced just at the start of the course and you have a whole lot of new people coming into the company who don't know anything about what did they do over there in Dublin, what's the benefit and we're not a revenue generating office. So the course then came even more perfectly timed for us to start really defining that. What we had was an avalanche of change and we didn't know how to prioritise all these new challenges. So some of the coursework showed us how to frame those and give priority to different ones so we were able to focus on the proper ones and move forward effectively. Companies may be established on one basis and then there's a learning as to how you get to the next stage. And that help comes in the form of people who can be mentors. They're running huge organisations here and yet they give their time to help other multinational companies. You learn new ways of thinking and you apply them immediately. And you push people in a way that's challenging, makes them a little bit uncomfortable, but also at the same time gets results. It's given us the confidence to not undersell ourselves, that you've had time to really pick out these key unique capabilities we have in Dublin that they don't have anywhere else in the world. It's a programme that actually develops leadership skills that will filter through the organisation to create more shareholder value. That would mean potentially more job creation, but most importantly additional activities and a real value add to their corporate. That really would be ultimate.